Yeah. So it's, it's, Tyler, we're, he, we are the here. stops because Which of the what? COVID. We should stop well, using touch screens everywhere. <laughs> well, we should maybe Absolutely. stop using communal. Let's, let's speak to the person again. Right? Yeah. Hey, can I get a Whopper? <laughs> Not. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> Tyler, we're here with Carrie from Good Shepherd. She's the Vice President of Marketing and Communications. Yay. Thank you for joining us. How are you, you doing? Good. Good, good, I mean, good. This all is things a, considered. A weird world, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very weird. We're going to yeah. talk about um, your thing in a minute. But I don't even okay. want to say it. But so with Good Shepherd, can you kind of give me – like, what's the, the rundown for the last month? How have you been, how, how has it been for, for you guys? Yeah, I mean, it's an unusual, uh, like I just said, it's an unusual world that we're living in, right? We've got patients in beds. We've got residents who live in long-term care facilities who suddenly can't have visitors. Mm -hmm. um, and our residents, we have 159 residents that live with us long-term in two homes. Um, and they're used to being out and about. They're very active despite having severe disabilities, right? They yeah. they go on field trips. This time of year, they would be going to the Iron Pigs yeah. games um, and out to malls and, you know, really have active lives. And all of a sudden, they're stuck indoors just like we are. They um, are not going on their field trips and they can't have visitors. So their families and friends can't come in because of strict visitor restrictions that are absolutely necessary in order to keep them safe, in order to keep us safe. Um, but it's lonely. Yeah. Just like yeah. it is for us. And, and I think what's unfortunate when you think about anybody in, in a, like assisted care living too, is just the fact that like for me, I can get through a couple weeks, a month, big deal. But the reality is for maybe some of these people, they don't have a lot of those months and, and that's what and, sucks the most. And they have, um, a lot of things going on in their lives, right? If you think about the folks who are in our rehab, our inpatient rehab facility, they also recently suffered a brain injury or a spinal cord injury or a stroke. And this is a time um, where you need your family and friends around right. you, right? Positivity really mm -hmm. helps the recovery process. Um, and so it's tough to be sort of alone and isolated and our staff is doing everything they can. We're doing video conferences with families. We're doing additional compassion rounds, so we're visiting um, and making sure we're popping into those rooms more often. But they can't even go to the dining room to eat. They're eating in their rooms. Yeah. Um, and so it's a tough time. Uh, it's a tough time for our staff. Um, Is it something that everybody's masked? Yeah, everybody. Even are the pay, are are your like what do you call them guests or patients? The patients and the residents, if they have an immunocompromised, you yeah. know, uh, immune system. But all of our staff, for the protection of our patients, walk in the door, they're screened for wellness. So they're asked a bunch of questions about their health, about where they've been. Um, their temperature is taken before they walk in the door. They're asked about symptoms. If they have any symptoms whatsoever, even if they're allergy related, um, we're screening them. And if they have symptoms that could be COVID related, they're staying home. Right. Um, but then they come in the door, they put a mask on. So even the patients, even though we're talking, um, having lots of conversations, still doing bedside care, you don't see the smile on the nurse's face, right? Yeah. That's tough. It's you just tough. draw one, draw a smile yeah. on the mask. <laughs> I think that might be a little creepy. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that it's was like a hand drawn, uh, yeah. Uh, diminishing yeah. returns, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, so we wanted to talk about pictures for patients and. We're going to put the link in and everything and make sure that everybody can participate. But can you kind of describe what was the, what's the origin of this and what is it? Sure. So we were talking about ways that we could um, uplift our, the spirits of our patients, our residents, um, and also our staff. Um, because, you know, it's a tough time to work in healthcare as well. And so um, we were just brainstorming, which is also weird for a marketing department to be brainstorming over the phone now or <laughs> Zoom yeah. meetings, right? We miss each other. Um, but we're brainstorming ways that we can inspire hope. It's part of Good Shepherd's mission. It's right there in the mission statement, inspire hope. So what can we do to increase positivity and inspire hope? And this was the brainchild of that. It's uh, hashtag pictures for patients. And we're asking people um, across the Lehigh Valley or even across the world to paint color, draw, 
um, pictures and then send them to us, um, not through the mail because we're not accepting packages through the mail, but they can simply email them to us, send them to us on social media, and we are um, printing them from inside the hospital where it's safe to do so and hanging them in patient rooms and resident rooms. We're putting them on our TV screens throughout the hospital uh, with some inspirational quotes. And they're really, and we're putting them on social media and they're really helping to uplift everybody. I mean, we've had people um, do sidewalk chalk uh, and send pictures of that. We've had people take photos um, and send us some inspirational photos. Um, and we've had people, you know, three-year-olds scribble on paper um, and handwrite messages. And it's been really nice and inspiring. I would love to do a painting, but send it anonymously and have her guess how old the person <laughs> was that painted it. Because you got to be careful what you wish for here, right? Cause we can do that. We can I'm do that. not very artistically inclined. I like doing it, but I'm not good at it. That, it, that doesn't matter. Uh, you know, <laughs> okay. some people are just... Some people are just writing inspirational um, uh -huh. phrases like, you've got this, you know, yeah. we can kick this, we can do it together. Um, and it's amazing and it, it's what- It's really inspiring. The, the little bit of human connection when you don't have any, it's amazing yeah. how much we, we don't realize how much we miss that and how much we need it. Like it's required. Mm -hmm. You can't, you know, it's very rare are these people living, you know, with nobody else. So it's, it's interesting that you could say, hey, my art's horrible, but that's great to somebody who just wants a piece. Yeah. They're like, this is the best. Tyler, thank you. I'm putting it on my wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is, it's well, funny. I want to see Tyler's artwork before we have Right. Well, you got to, you got to definitely. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> but it would, honestly, it would take a, only a global pandemic for me to get my artwork hung on somebody's wall. That's we the did. On a, are we and on, under on any other circumstances, it'd be like, this is very nice, Tyler. We're going to put it up in the basement. <laughs> When we, we had a T, we could hang it in the basement. <laughs> it could be like the rejected ones. We had um, Tyler's painting on, <laughs> and we were comparing it to like Van Gogh, and but we didn't know it was his, and it came across, and then like we thought it was done by a child, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, it <laughs> could be a hidden talent. You don't know. Yeah, right. It's it's more of a uh, an abstract art form. Yeah. Yes, For reference, right. when I was in high school, the only test that got made it on my parents' refrigerator hung up. I, I passed my eye exam, so that was uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was the only thing that made it up there. Well, no congratulations! Way. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still seeing it. Still see it. Every <laughs> but yeah, no, this yeah, is we, great. How so? You'll you'll you're taking you know pe from from wherever, right? That's uh, there we yeah. go. Yeah, you see right so, here. Yeah. People are sending the photos in from you know all over the country. Um, because it's a social media effort, it's spread, um, and we want it to spread. I mean, it would be great if it spread to other hospitals and we could bring this kind of positivity and cheer um, to more patients in more places. We're also doing it, we have facilities um, through our partnership with Penn Medicine in Philadelphia, and so we're also collecting photos in Philadelphia as well and making sure that we're hanging them up in our, in our Philadelphia locations. But how color, cute is that color. guy, right? That, yeah. that kid was adorable. I could do coloring. That's easy. You don't have to make the lines. <laughs> We're going to have to do <laughs> one of these. The um, I can tell you now. Hey, color outside the lines. It's even better. <laughs> but it's interesting, too. Like, like I love all these ideas because we just this morning we took out recycling. And I think it was my dad. But you know that people color the rocks, like Leah Valley yeah. rocks, and they leave yeah. them places. And then the idea is, I guess, you color a rock and leave it for somebody to find, and then they can hide it. So we went outside today, and there's a little rock for my daughter that somebody left outside. I think it was my oh. dad, but it was still very <laughs> sweet because then you're like, oh, now we want to paint one and go leave it for somebody else. So yeah. it's kind of yeah. in that vein. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what it says? It says that somebody's thinking about you and somebody uh -huh. cares about you. And it's amazing what that will do for your morale when you're recovering um, from any sort of injury or illness. Well, let's talk we about that, that a little bit. Let's talk about how much of an impact these things, because if you're, if somebody's sitting there and, uh, you know, they think it's a great idea, but they don't totally grasp how much this will change somebody's day that gets it. What have you seen or what have you heard firsthand? How much? Yeah. This so I talked to Frank Highland, who's our executive director, and he's visiting patients in the hospital every single day. He talked to me about the smiles that it brings to people's faces when he walks into a room and he hangs a piece of artwork, right? 
We've got folks from the executive director to um, our friends on the maintenance team and housekeeping and environmental services hanging these photos for patients and seeing the smiles on their faces. Um, it just sort of lights up. It gives them an added boost. It inspires hope that, hey, you know, some five-year-old wrote me a message that said, we're in this together. You're mm -hmm. not alone. Um, it's really heartwarming. Yeah, yeah, certainly. And then it reminds them that there's a, you know, there's a world happening that's working hard to get to the other side of this and that soon enough, they'll have visitors again, right? Yeah, we, we're really looking forward to that day that we can, you know, open the doors back up and say, you know, your family can come in. Um, and, you know, family is a big part of, especially in, in um, rehab, in, in acute rehab. You're, the family is a vital part of the care team, right? They're there mm -hmm. from day one. Um, and suddenly they're, they're not there. They're on, like yeah. we are, on a computer screen. I mean, they're still an active part of the conversation, but it's not the same. Right. And yeah, so George, you have, are you going to have the link? Where, how, how yeah, we're, no, we're going to put the link out. We're, um, we're going to make, we're going to do a picture and send it I'll in. do a picture. And send it in today. Yeah. Oh, no, you have, you have to. Out. That's awesome. I mean, don't, don't, don't get your hopes up. I'll say, I'm going to warn you right now. Don't, it's not going <laughs> to, it's, it's hey, not going to call I, any, if, no it, if there is, a, if there is any way, and I know like there's so many things that would have to happen for this to happen, but if Tyler submitted his and the patient who got it, if there is any way that that patient can tell us how horrible it was, I would love to hear it. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We'll do that. <laughs> Send us your picture, Tyler. We well, will what if they like it? I mean, all right, we I'm going to work make extra sure hard. <laughs> we will make sure you get a message from the patient who receives it. Perfect. You have to do this, Tyler. All right. You have to do you, this. All right. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm going on YouTube. I'm getting lessons. I'm going to, this is going to be, this is going to, I got to find a paintbrush and paint, but. We'll figure it out. Hey, but we'll figure it out. Pencil, Carrie, it's all, it's all Carrie, good. thank you. I know you're super busy. I know there's so much going on. So thank you for taking some time. We're gonna we'll get this up quick. We'll make sure that people um, can get more information. I just want to go back here for a second. Uh, what what is the link again? I had it. Yeah. So we're asking oh, everybody to to send their submissions to communications at gsrh.org. Um, it's great if they want to share them on social too, but because of people's mm -hmm. privacy settings, we had a hard time sort of retrieving them from social, but, uh, communications at gsrh.org and we'll get them out to the patients. You can also follow us on, uh, Facebook and Instagram to see some of the artwork. Cool. Yeah. I'm just making sure. So you can say hashtag picture. We'll put all this information in there, but just if people are want to see it. So yep, okay. hashtag pictures for patients. Awesome. And we're going to wait on Tyler's and we're, we're pumped. So thank you so much for taking the time. Absolutely. Thank you guys. Yeah. I appreciate it. Have a great thank day. You. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.